Okay, I think I'm live on YouTube. Hello, welcome to today's class. I've got an amazing upper body strength class. This is yoga inspired seven moves. You're going to do it circuit style. It's going to be awesome. It's honestly, I'm so excited. You're going to feel so strong in your upper body. So let's begin right now. Um, okay, so I'm going to answer questions at the end and we'll go from there. You don't need weights. This was from another class that I did. I did a power sculpt class last night. So you don't need weights for this class. We are going to begin right away. I want to make sure you guys can see everything. Okay, so get onto your mat right now, and we are going to have some fun. So right away, uh, I'm going to do circuit style, okay? So right away, we're going to get here. We're going to get here on our um, elbows and our feet. Hold right here. Good. If you have a yoga block, I would go get it right now. If you don't have a yoga block, grab something that you can, like a little box, maybe an Amazon box or something like that. But this is just our warm up, okay? So come into your plank, hold your plank. Nice. Now we're going to walk up here to our dolphin pose. All right. So dolphin pose is um, the arms are parallel to one another. All right. So make sure that you aren't. Bend, uh, bringing the hands together, arms are parallel to one another. Beautiful. So holding here, we're going to tap the floor with our nose and then come back up. So you're like sniffing your mat. Okay, we're going to do 10 like this. 10 and back. 9 and back. 8 and 7. Good job. 6. Uh, if you can't go all the way down, that's okay. And just go to your range of motion, okay? Good. Four and up. Three and up. Two and one. And take a little breather. Okay. I told you this was going to be good, right? I'm actually so proud to get a free live class on my YouTube every day this week, and I'm happy to say that I have made myself sore. I absolutely love that. Okay, anyone else like that? Is anyone else crazy like me and loves to just feel sore every day? Okay, here we go. So, okay, I even did a little French braid for you guys today. All right, so we're going to do shoulder taps 20 times. 20, 19, 18. So I have my legs about hip width apart. Good. Squeeze that belly up and in. Uh oh, keep going. My Instagram has. Oh boy. Okay, keep going. My Instagram paused for a second. Keep going, keep going. Okay, we've got about 10 more left here, like this 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice job. Okay, so now we are going to do kick-ups. So let me explain these for a little bit. So you're going to do a little pop-up, boom, like that, okay? Like you're just kicking your feet to your bum. The, the goal here is to keep the shoulders over the wrist. See how my shoulders are over my wrist? And so when I pop-up, it makes it really easy. If you start way back here and you try going way forward without – the skill and knowledge of really understanding your vertical line is going to make it way more challenging. Okay, so my goal for you, try to get the shoulders right over the wrist. This might be enough for you. You might need to just practice being right here because this is a lot of weight in the arms. Okay, so you can do alternating legs. Otherwise, if you want to join me, we can do little hops like that. Okay, really fun, right? Let's do 10 like this. Little bunny hops, perfect for... For Easter. Okay, here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay. All right. Um, now we're going to take our push-ups. We're going to go side to side. So I'm going to show you right here. So I'm going to do them on my knees. If you want to go on your toes, you are more than welcome to. But I'm going to go here like this. Push up to center and push up. Okay. So we're going to do 10 just like this. 
maybe four. We'll see how I'm feeling. Okay. And up. But I love working my upper body because I just feel so strong. Yes, of course my arms get toned, and I love the way that my arms look in tank tops. That's definitely a fun benefit, but really it's about how you feel inside of your body. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It's as long as you feel happy and confident. So I love helping you feel confident in your own body because you get to feel so amazing every day. Good. Woo. All right, that was 10 right there. Okay. Okay, so I want you to grab, now grab a block, grab a box, grab something that's a little bit heavier. I'm gonna go grab my block right now. I will be right back. Okay, forgot to grab this earlier, so grab a block, All right? Or you can grab a box, again, something that you can just hold in your hands. We're gonna reach the block out and hold here. Good, I know, I feel a little bit all over the place today. I was actually up late. Yes, it's gonna feel a little bit fatigued, which is good. I want you to press the hand into the block. Press, press, press in. Good, now we're gonna take the arms up at a diagonal. Continue to press the pinkies down into the block. Pinkies down into the block. Reach longer through the arms. Okay, so don't let them sink. Reach longer through the arms, meaning reach longer through right here, through the lats and the serratus. Press the pinky into the block. Good, we're gonna hold here for another 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, keep holding, 14. Relax the shoulders. Keep pressing into the block. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Keep holding. 5, 4. Keep reaching. 2, and 1. Good job. Okay, how did that feel? All right, so we've got our last exercise here for this round. Now we're going to do uh, down dog push-ups. I love these ones as well. These are just my favorite. I'm <laughs> just giving you guys my absolute face. Okay, so you're downward facing up. We're going to bring the elbows down to the floor and then and then straighten the arms back up. So you are bending the elbows and pressing up. Okay, I'll show you from here. You're going to make sure that your forearms stay parallel to one another and pressing firmly through the fingers, the first finger and thumb, and bringing the elbows down. See that? And then I'm pressing up. It's going to be a lot of tricep, a lot of lats, a lot of serratus. Whew. Okay, here we go. And we're going to lower down for 10 and up, 9 and up, 8 and up, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, great job. Okay, that's the circuit. So now you know where we're headed. Do you guys have any questions? We're gonna do that two times, maybe three. I don't know, I'm feeling pretty pretty feisty this morning, so we might do three more rounds. I'm gonna grab something. I need to grab a charger for my phone. Okay. So, how many rounds do you guys want to do? Let's take a vote. Let's take a vote right now. How many rounds do we want to do? Do we want to do three rounds, four rounds? How many do we want to do? Okay, how did that feel? Pretty good, right? Woo! Okay, guys, on Instagram, make sure you go over to my YouTube because, um, yeah, because it's a bigger screen, definitely a much bigger screen, much better to work out over here. All right, guys, let's go for our round two. I see votes for three rounds. How about votes for four rounds? Anyone have votes for four rounds? You guys ready? Come on to the dolphin, and here we go. 10, and up. Nine, up, good. Eight, 
seven, six, and five, four, and three, and two, and one. Great job. If you're having a hard time keeping the arms at parallel to one another, you can always put a block here. Okay, that's going to stop the hands from going inward like this. Okay, so that's definitely a great way to do that. If you want recommendations on blocks, I like four. So we're going to do tuck jumps here. Remember, shoulders are over the wrist. So try to get over as much as you can. This might be enough for you. If kicking up here is too scary. And let's go. Ten. And up. Nine, eight, five, four, three. Okay, what are you thinking? Three rounds or four rounds? We're on our second round. Okay, side to side. So whole block in front. This is a little uh, out of place, right? If you don't, if you don't even know where you are in your own body. You might feel like you aren't know where you are in life, right? So it's really good to take into account, okay, my arms are here. Let's raise them up a little bit. Reach out, okay, try not to sink down. See if you can reach out. See if you can make your spine longer without sticking the chest up. Okay, so draw the ribs in. Feel the back bends, right? I know this isn't just about handstands, but this is going to help you create healthy patterns in your body anyways. Good, hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, release. Whoo, okay, I am definitely, definitely feeling this. Okay, we've got our down dog push-ups. So if you have a hard time keeping the elbows together or the, the hands apart, I would put the block there. You can put it on your thumbs, and then you're going to go to downward facing dog from there. And you want to try to drop the elbows down so that the, the forearms are parallel to one another. All right, here we go. We're going to do this 10 times, and let's go. 10 and up, 9, Eight. I'm thinking about squeezing the elbows towards each other. Five, four, three, two, and one. And come on up. All right, that is our second round. How are you feeling? Okay, now that we've done two rounds, how many rounds do you think we can do? I think we can do four rounds, guys. I don't think we should start. Where's everyone from? I love seeing where everyone is from. I lost it at the tech jumps. <laughs> you guys are awesome. So, so good, so good. Okay, awesome guys. So happy because these live workouts have been so fun. Honestly, really fun. It's kept me accountable. I'm able to work out with you. Um, yeah, all right. All right, here we go. We're going to go for our third round from Michigan. Cool. You guys are from all over the world. I love it. Okay. Okay, so now we've got our down, our dolphin push-ups. Let's go. Lift on up. Here we go for 10, 9, 8. Oh, no, sorry. I did the wrong ones. We're doing these ones. Oopsie. Here we go. Live video, can't edit it. Nine, elbows are down. Eight, we're touching our nose to the mat. Seven, and six, and five, and four. Keep the, the forearms parallel. Three, and two, and one, and up. Nice job, shoulder taps. Gonna go pretty fast through these. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. Try not to move the hips too much. I know I'm kind of guilty of that sometimes. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
And one. Okay. We've got our kickups. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and on one. Maybe you need a little air time in. Okay, push ups side to side. And let's go. 10, 9. You are so, so strong. 8. I'm so proud of you for showing up here, for feeling strong, confident, empowered. You are doing such a good job. Whew. I'm out of breath. You guys hear that? Good. Four. Definitely are challenging our upper body in such a good way. You're going to feel so strong all day. And, and tomorrow as well. I just love feeling strong in my upper body. Okay. Let's see. Uh, oh, yes, holding the block. When I learned how to do this, reach arms out. This was a game changer for me because I realized I wasn't turning my pinkies down, that I wasn't in external rotation when I was doing this. So having your arms in external rotation makes a huge difference in optimizing your strength. So pinkies down, thumbs up. Press the pinkies into the block. That'll help activate the triceps. Okay, come into 45 degree angle. And yeah, we're doing a lot of work on our hands. So if you have wrist issues, well, first of all, know that your wrists do get stronger. So when I first started doing a lot of this type of work, my wrist did hurt a lot. But we'll do to help release that. Good, hold it, soften the shoulders to get the tension out of the neck for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great job. Okay, now we've got our down dog push ups. You can leave the block here in between if you need it, in between the thumbs. Okay. <clears throat> here we go. Starting down our dog. Squeeze the elbows together to lower them down softly and up. That's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, guys, I'm making an executive decision here. We're going to do four rounds. So we did three already. We have just got one more round. Pretty exciting stuff, right? Pretty, pretty exciting. All right, I'm going to come in a little closer because I'm not standing up in any of these exercises. Just nice camera angles. All right. So, you guys ready? You guys ready for our last and final round together? Woo! Put a little strong arm in the chat because that's what your arms are going to look like. They're going to look like Popeye strong arms. Best feeling in the world, right? Okay. To be able to lift your own body weight. Let's do our dolphin push ups of those. Touches the floor. Here we go. Keep those arms parallel to one another. Forearms parallel to one another. Nice job. And 10. And 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. And one. Come on up. Nice job. Okay, shoulder taps. Try to keep the hips really solid and still. Don't move them at all. You're going to work your core way more that way. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. Okay, just remember, this is the last time we're doing each one of these exercises. So give it your all. All right, we've got our kick jumps, our kick ups, tuck jumps. 
10, let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. It's working more of our chest muscles, pec muscles here. Good. 10 and 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, oh boy, two, you got this. Last one, here we go. Uh, uh, so good. You are so strong. I'm so proud of you. Okay, now we've got to hold the block. We've just got two more exercises left. This one by so fast, isn't it? Okay, sit it up tall. Remember, this is helping your posture muscles. So imagine your spine lining up. Imagine it just feeling so awake and springy and strong. I love using visualizations to give yourself a new feeling in your body. So imagine every single vertebrae in your back, in your spine, lining up like a Christmas tree. And that visualization gives you this feeling of energy, lightness, sparks joy. So just imagine that right now, your spine is just lit up like a Christmas tree. Good, soften the shoulders for 10, nine, you can do it, eight, and now seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> Make sure you guys check in with me after your workout, okay? Check in, check in. Uh, I keep forgetting to tell you guys that, but check in and take a screenshot. Let me know that you did this so I can DM you back and say good job, because otherwise I don't know. So make sure that you tell me that you, you screenshot it and you share it, and then invite some friends to join you. Okay, sorry, I'm down dog. Here we go, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, you got this last four, count with me. Three, and two, and one. Whew. Oh yes, I wanna know how you feel. Oh my gosh, that was so fun, right? Maybe not what you expected. Uh, wow, that was so, so fun. That felt really good. I mean, nothing feels better than like feeling strong in your arms. And then look, my muscles are popping. I love that. <laughs> How are you guys doing? So if you are Instagram, come over to YouTube. Make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel because that's what allows me to bring you more and more videos. Um, all this free classes that I'm giving you guys. I just love being able to. Thanks for joining. Great job today. I'm really proud of you. Um, <clears throat> how do you guys feel? I want to see in the comments. And if you want to look for, if you want a full 30-day workout program that you can follow, then I've got, um, then my Stretchy Fit app is free for the next two weeks for new new members. So you can go to actionjacklin.com, full 30-day plan that you can just follow every month. So right now we are in all in April calendar. So basically you just open up the app and press play. It's pretty freaking amazing people like my students said that they have never been so consistent and inspired to work out because you know what the key to staying consistent and staying on track do you want to know what the secret is do you do you want to know what the secret is the secret is finding something that you enjoy okay so if you enjoy something you will come back to it and that's what my app is all about it's really fun it's motivating it's challenging it's all the things. It's easy to stay on track because you will enjoy yourself. So that's my stretchy fit app. Go to actionjackman.com slash app. And you can, um, like I said, you, the first two weeks are free for new members. We've got an amazing community. I go live there as well just for my members. So last night I did an amazing power sculpt class. You can ask them. It was pretty. Uh, okay, love it. Uh, arms and core on fire. Love it. Hi from India. Have a great session. <laughs> Thank you. Saw your live workout after finish workout, so muscles twitchy now. 
Oh, that's amazing. My arms are shaking. Okay, great. I love that. I love it. Love it. Love it. You guys are awesome. That was awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So many amazing people here. I'm a yoga teacher. That's cool. I love when the yoga teachers and everybody comes and join. Susan, Eddie, Joaquin. Let's see. Martina. I did the bar tone workout this morning, so I'll catch up with this one later today. Great workouts. I'm in love. Hi from Spain. Okay, awesome, guys. Super worth it. They are 30 minutes each. Um, I'm sore, so you know if I'm sore, then uh, they're good workouts. I don't like to waste time. I like to get in, get a workout, and get out, <laughs> right? All right, guys. Have a beautiful Easter weekend if that's what you celebrate. And, um, yeah, love you all so much. Okay. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, Instagram. Let's see. All right. Bye, guys.